What is happening? Welcome to another pitch video breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder of PitcherList.com, former college pitcher, used to give pitching lessons, all of that stuff. If you're new to this channel, I do a pitch video breakdown every day of the week, uh, Monday through Friday. So go subscribe, hit the bell, do all that fun stuff. Make sure you like this video. It helps me out a ton. So please go off and do that. But we're going to watch Sandy Alcantara today. And I actually thought I already covered him because I love him so much. I have such a adoration for Sandy because he throws upper 90s with fastballs and sinkers. He gets all these weak grounders all the time. And then he has a 92 mile per hour changeup and a 91 mile per hour slider. And it's insane. Just watching him is insane. So we're going to watch it today, buddy. And it's going to be really, really fun as he went nine innings of zero under runs, three earned. If you see this line, it's not even right. This is one run, but yeah, it was unearned in the fifth inning. Uh, he was just he was just so good. He had 25 whiffs yesterday, which was the most among all pitchers who went. Uh, it, was, it was just great. So let's, let's watch it. What does he do? So first pitch, he's trying to get some free real estate. That's at 87 miles per hour. He doesn't get it, right? And I love the fact that he is trusting that slider, especially deeper in the game, right? He's trying to... This one, he's just trying to nail it down here inside the zone. He's not actually trying to do this. Maybe he thought that Acuna would be really aggressive as he normally is. Uh, and maybe that was an intentional pitch out of the zone. But I like to think that you know, Sandy Alcantara still has a little bit of work to do when it comes to that kind of command. Oh, do not give me that. Good, thank you. And there it is. That's the pitch he tried to do. Oh, I'd love to see that. You know, when a pitcher tries to execute something, they fail. And sometimes they just switch to something else. I love when they go back to it a second time and do what they want to do. Thank you. Whew, I was worried for a second you didn't give that as a strike. So, thank you, Blue. I appreciate you, Blue. Um, so after that, after you throw two sliders away, I think Acuna is like, okay, it's going to be a fastball now. This is the one you want to swing at. So there are two things you can do there. One, you can throw a uh, – what am I going to use a color for this? I don't know. Yeah, all right, red. You can throw a sinker that comes in like this and really takes advantage of Acuna's aggression to then probably swing at a fastball that will be a pop-out or a grounder to third. Or you can throw a changeup that goes down like this and goes under the bat. I think it'd be really dangerous down here. I'd probably throw it down here um, because if it's over here, then theoretically an aggressive Acuna can still drop the barrel and he's good at that and can do damage with it. Or you just throw another slider. So I'm curious what we're going to get here. And there is that changeup that w did go down here. And look at that movement. I mean, this is insane. This pitch is coming from here all the way down to here at 92. Uh, I, I, that's wild. Oh, I nailed it. I nailed it with the path. <laughs> so good. But that, I mean, that's just so hard to lift. And I think Acuna is aware of it, right? I think he's aware of his presence of chasing fastballs. So he sees that low one and he thinks, okay, you know what? That's going to fall out of the zone. Um, so at 2-1, what do you go with, Sandy? And he throws a sinker. That, oh, he gets the call. And Acuna, I think also when he saw the change up before, uh, knew the sink of fastball of, of Sandy's sinker, thinking it even wasn't a changeup, it might even just fall out of the zone anyway. So he sees, and if anything is coming in low, I think Acuna is just not swinging at it, even if it's inside the zone initially. So he sees this one that, I mean, this thing starts out of the zone over here, and Acuna's thinking, okay, either this is going to stay away, or it's going to dip out of the zone. And oh man, you can argue that it just clipped the zone right here, but. He gets the call. Wow, at 97. It's insane. So now with that, what do you throw? You throw a slider away? Do you surprise Acuna with a high heater? Do you go change up? Do you, I mean, you haven't... I, I don't know. Oh, he threw 97. And th <laughs> Wow, okay. I'm amazed that Acuna missed this, honestly. I mean, look, there's a lot of sync to it. This pitch is going to look like... It's essentially going to go like this to it, right? Because that's just what what Alcantara's fastballs do. Um, but I think the timing got messed up about it from Acuna. And I think I I personally underrate changing speeds all of a sudden, right? I mean, sure, there was the, the 97 before, but he threw three off-speed pitches here, and he's kind of trying to time it for 92, and he gets this, this hard 97 instead. Man. Just, yeah, Acuna, I, I think his, he just wasn't ready for that offering. I think because he snuck in that fastball, he's looking more for a changeup or for a, for a slider. Was a little late on it. And, man, he just blew 97 past him. <laughs> That's what Alcantara does. That's 
Ronald Acuna Jr., one of the better hitters in the game. Amazing. So they have Matt Olson, not an easy out. 98 up, sure, why not? There's a whiff. Do it again. Yep, does it again. 97. Why would you do anything else? Don't get cute. Oh, he almost went for that. Look how far away this is. But look how much, like, out of the hand. This is this is likely right here out of the hand. Right? And it's going to end up all the way over there. Like, ugh. I'm getting really good at this, by the way. <laughs> Nailing it. I mean, that's just so much movement. And... If you're Alcantara, like, I understand. You will see a lot of pitches that are farther away that look like they have much more movement. And they generally do. Because when you release your changeup, um, especially with Alcantara, he's doing pronation on it and he's getting on the side of it. But the more on the side you get, the more you're going to get that, that movement laterally. Uh, and I remember, especially when I would throw two seamers in college, uh, any time that I saw it going too far inside it meant that I was dipping my arm too far over. I remember my coach telling me about, you know, you throw it, you're getting too far on the side of the ball, that makes it get get too much run and falls way, way outside. It's really hard to get that timing right. But if you can get it right, man, if you can get that right where you can get on the side of the ball and actually keep it close to the zone. I mean, like, for example, if this one were able to actually land instead of over here and land over here, there's no way that Olsen's holding up there. I mean, he almost swung at that one, right? But now that you threw that change up, I'm a little upset because just throw the fastball past them. You kind of, I don't know, I think you, you tell enough information. You tried to do it again and you missed a lot. Throw a third change up. And he did, and he got a swing on it. But here's the problem is that this is too high up. You know, you had Olsen on his front foot, which meant that he is essentially going to swing at this. He's committed to it, and this is close enough to the plate that he swung. But because it's this, this easy to hit, right, that's the angle. But if it were down here, that's much farther to go. That's the same bad angle, right? We have to go even farther to get this one, which means he wouldn't be able to make contact on it. But he left that one up. That allowed Olsen to stay alive. Now you go back inside. Love this call. And that's beautiful. You get an out with that. You got to swing on a pitch out of the zone. You get an out. I don't care that's not a strikeout. That's gorgeous. Like, this is out of the zone, you know? And you didn't get Olsen at me. I mean, sure, Olsen was thinking about it. And you've thrown so many changes at some point you gotta not throw that. But perfect location, perfect spot, like 97, impossible to hit. Anyone that doesn't has never seen it Sandy Alcantara before, I'm I'm sure you're kind of freaking out right now, right? His stuff is insane. It's it's just insane how much it moves, how hard it's thrown. It's crazy to me. Here's a slider probably. Free real estate, 89. Not a good one, but free real estate. You got it in the zone. All you're trying to do OO here against Azuna. Throw a slider in the zone. He's probably not sitting it. Let's do it. Great. Free real estate. Free real estate. Do it again. Oh, yes. Good. Okay. So now you get your free real estate. Like, timing is everything. Right? You timed it right. Oh, oh, you can throw the one up. But now at 01, Ozuna's hoping for that fast. We can even see his face right now. He's upset. This starts. I oh, mean, he's so filthy. Like, this isn't the change of the sinker. We just saw it to the lefty Olsen. This, this is actually out of the hand. Ozuna thinks it's going to come back because the changeup and the, and the sinker both come back over the plate. Fastball does too. A little bit of that horizontal movement. So even though it starts out of the plate, off the plate here, Ozuna thinks maybe this does come back and does this movement here and he can hit that. But no, it falls off. Ugh. I don't want to do that slow motion. Look, just, oh, look where the bat is. He thinks it's going to come back here. He's so dead to rights. And now you've, now you've learned that Ozuna's looking for a fastball, right? I mean, now you're pretty much in his head. Like, he might be changing it midway through. He wasn't looking for it. Like, he wasn't th looking for the slider early on, right? That's why he let the slider fall. He swung at that one. He's looking for a fastball. So you throw another slider. That's what I would do. Oh, and that's a really good one. And you can see, you can see uh, the catcher point at him, right? I mean, that fell off the table. That's a 91 too. Point at him. Good job. Ozuna now thinks he's deserved a fastball. So throw another slider. Do it four times. Ah, so you got contact on it because of that. Right? You know, he almost sent it for a ride. Oh, man. One more. You need one more, Sandy. I mean, this was really close. This uh, is 99. It's also up higher than he wants it to be. Like, either go all the way up or go down. I think Sandy kind of performs better down. But maybe this was a four-seamer that does this and didn't have the sink. 
Um, but you guys know me. I, I'm very much about gambits on breaking stuff and and listening to the batter and what the tail is. And the tail in this one was Ozuna went for the first two pitches in this at bat, selling out for a fastball, then realized he gave it away. So he resisted that 91 off the plate, but the mentality is always then, okay, great, now I've earned the fastball. And this is too hittable. This is uh this has got to be farther down. This is oh, you want it down here. Oh man, Ozuna almost got that out. Oh, okay. Well anyway, I mean that's still 99. <laughs> Look, you got it out with it. Good job, Sandy. You made it. And he's he's a little like, okay, I'm alright. <laughs> He's not as thrilled of that last pitch, and I understand it. But, I mean, that's Sandy Alcantara. You see the nasty stuff. You saw the 91-mile-per-hour uh, slider away. You saw the ridiculous movement on the changeup. We didn't really see, like, a perfect one in this inning. Um, and, of course, we saw, like, the 97 inside to Olsen. Um, we saw the 97 to, uh, to Acuna as well. He's dope. He makes us feel dope. And that's Sandy Alcantara. I wish I could do, like, every start because he's just so much fun to watch. He's one of my favorite pitchers in the majors just to watch because of just what his pitch, pitches do uh, and uh, when he executes. And we have literally, this wasn't even the start of Sandy being at his peak. We saw that last year. There will be stretches when Sandy is just clicking and firing on all cylinders, and it's glorious. So be on the lookout for that. But that's going to do it for today. So my name is Nick Pollock. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and may your babas be low and your strikeouts high.